Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial of BW4 HANA presentation. And in this particular video, I'll be talking about what is BW4 HANA and how it is different in regards to its earlier version of BW. So let me quickly uh, go through in it. So I will first talk about what is BW4 HANA. So uh, BW4 HANA, it is a new warehouse delivered by SAP. And it is a next generation of, of BW. So it is kind of next generation of SAP's data warehouse solution. Right? And, and also uh, it will be continuing the BW functionality of what it had in the earlier version of BW uh, like BW it's, uh, whether you call it 7.4 or 7 or 7.3 so the functionality the overall functionality will be uh, will be moved into this uh, but the the way of doing will be changed so it will be continuing the BW functionality and another a big thing is that reducing the data redundancy because BW for HANA or if you have worked on BW on HANA, we have seen that the data layer has reduced uh, because we do not see much of PSA or we do not see uh, any data redundancy or having several layers of data because we are doing on LSA++ structure. LSA plus plus structures that's why we are actually reducing the uh, data data redundancy why we can call it as data redundancy and uh, another feature that we are reducing the number of objects because in the earlier version we had uh, we had used uh, like multi provider or info set now we are putting it together into composite provider and earlier person we have uh, uh, objects like cube and we are actually putting it into ADSO so a lot of objects are actually getting migrated into into this uh, version of BW so here what we do the reduced number of objects and also this is the future roadmap of SAP so this is the future roadmap of SAP because this is the latest and newest version of BW and uh, and this is the future roadmap of SAP data warehouse solution so now let me move to the next slide so here uh, we have broadly uh, just showed you what are the main changes like uh, the changes in remodeling the modeling purpose because in earlier version of BW uh, we had to do the modeling in the SAP GUI so now we have to do on SAP HANA studio so all this modeling has moved into SAP HANA studio that's a big changes and also the changes in the data source extraction so in BW for HANA, we have the option to extract from the uh, from the uh, source by ODP method. So this is the ODP provisioning method, and using this functionality, it takes the data from source and which is very much faster than the earlier version. The way we used to paste the data in BW, and also there are changes in the routine. They are option to write AMDP routine. So this is a much of a SQL and here you can write uh, uh, pretty much similar logic but uh, the way it is defined now it is different. And now the position creation and monitor. Uh, here also there are small changes and SAP is coming up with a, a new tool called, uh, called uh, the cockpit, the position monitoring cockpit. And here we can actually create the post chain and we can monitor. And now the last one 
is the no PSA no arrest tag. As I told in my earlier slide that you know there are reduced number of layers, so and that's why you now SAP has not implemented there should not be any arrest tag or PSA in BW for HANA. And coming to the last slide of this uh, tutorial that here I'll be discussing about what is the in my earlier slide I have talked about the, the changes and continuing to that slide so I will be actually discussing about what is the main difference uh, in BW for HANA and SAP BW. So let me tell you that the biggest difference comes in terms of the reporting. In earlier version we used to see the BEX analyzer but now BEX analyzer is not available anymore. So BEX analyzer is no more is no more exist. So what then we have to use in, in place of BEX analyzer? The uh, uh, we have to use actually the other tools like uh, Fury or you know any design studio or if you call as uh, any uh, like BO those things will come in picture now and now so BEX analyzer is not exist and also the the one of the famous tool uh, that is the uh, uh, for watching the for seeing the uh, reports as the BEX report so BEX since BEX analyzer is not available so so we cannot see any BEX report. Now we have to switch or move into the other versions of reporting like analysis or for office or design studio or BO or the newest version came as the uh, the analytic uh, the analytical view in cloud. Yes, and and also very important thing that as I told the different tool for in terms of the modeling it has changed because now we have to do the modeling in SAP HANA Studio because in earlier version of BW we had to do in SAP GUI but now we have to do in SAP HANA Studio and this is the main one of the major um, changes in uh, in uh, modeling and as I told earlier that uh, there are a few things are not supported like PSAs PSA not available so that we need to remember that we are reducing the number of layers in it and uh, and mostly uh, that's all about this tutorial uh, we have quickly just let me wrap up this part now we have talked about the BW what is BW for HANA then major changes and few more uh, discussion on that so that's all about it and if you have any question or doubts please uh, write in the comment I will happy to answer that and also please subscribe my channel and like the video and click the bell icon so for the early notification thank you for watching please have a uh, look at my other videos i have given the link in my description thank you have a nice day